everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games, and I have an amazing glitch for you today. Check out this chain chomp fountain I made. With this glitch, you can make enemies and items appear out of nowhere. Kind of like they're coming out of pipes, but there are no pipes. This glitch was actually sent in to me from Josh, also known as Psychro. Couple quick notes, he asked me to tell you guys that if you use this, stick to one item. Like here we have a bunch of Goombas spawning out of springs and bouncing on them. Or here we have bloopers coming out of note blocks. Also remember to stay within the item limit. If you go past the item limit, your level will get taken down. And if you do this with a bunch of different items, your level will most likely get taken down as well. He also suggests you make a backup of your level. That way if it does get taken down, you don't lose all your hard work on your level. As you can see here, there's tons of cool things you can do with this trick. Let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. All right, the first thing we need to do is make two pipes. You can place one and copy another if you'd like, or just drag a second one from the top. We're gonna need to place a lava bubble in the first pipe. And then we need to pick an item to spawn out of nowhere. We're gonna choose a buzzy beetle for this example. We'll drag him to the other pipe. From here on out, we'll copy these items from the pipe as we need them. Now we'll put a diagonal track down. We will hold ZL and drag a lava bubble onto the track. Now we will shake the track by grabbing onto it so it turns into a curved track. Now we'll drag a mushroom down onto the lava bubble so it's big. We'll hit the undo dog twice. Once you've hit undo twice, we'll hold ZL and we'll drag a copy of our buzzy beetle onto the lava bubble. We'll hit the play button and then we'll hit the edit button. Now we'll grab the end of the track and just move it over. Now we're gonna hold the L button down and select where that buzzy beetle was See, so he pops back up. Now we'll use ZL again and we'll drag from that square on the track with the lava bubble over so it creates another track with a lava bubble. We'll shake it. We'll drag a mushroom down onto the lava bubble. Undo dog twice again. Now we'll hold ZL, we'll drag a buzzy beetle onto the lava bubble. And now we'll just drag the track away so it does the opposite. It leaves a lava bubble on the screen and has a buzzy beetle on the track. Now we erase this lava bubble by hitting that square there with the erase button. It'll erase the track and the lava bubble. Now we'll hold ZL again and we'll make a copy of our pipe with our buzzy beetle. Now we'll drag the pipe up to make it tall. Then we'll hit undo once. Now we'll move the pipe. And after all of these steps, we are done. Now we'll move our buzzy beetle up here We'll hold ZL again, we'll make a copy of them. That'll be what we use to spawn our buzzy beetles out of nowhere. Erase everything but the buzzy beetle. And let's use a question mark block we'll make him spawn out of. And to make it look more like a regular level, we'll put a couple of other blocks here. Now you'll drag your buzzy beetle on top of the question mark block and set them down and hit start. And if everything's correct, as you see, the buzzy beetles will spawn out of the question mark block and it'll act a lot like a pipe where they'll keep coming out. There's endless ideas you can do with this. Feel free to explore with different items, enemies, anything you can think of. We're gonna go ahead and hold L down to select the area. That empty square is where the buzzy beetle is now. Sometimes the items will disappear. If you hold down ZL, you can make copies of this item and you can put them wherever you want. We'll make stacks of three now. So now when we start it up, it looks like a bunch of buzzy beetles are spawning out of the bricks. Really cool and effective, definitely a really neat way that you can surprise people. Now I'll show you how to make the chain chomp fountain. This is really easy. First thing we need to do is have a chain chomp on a post. So we need to shake our chain chomp because he doesn't have one. We'll drag a mushroom onto him and we'll put him on that brick there. Now that we have the chain chomp down, we'll make two pipes. We'll put a lava bubble in the first one and we need to shake the chain chomp, so he's just a chain now, and put him in the second pipe. Now we'll make a diagonal track, drag the lava bubble onto the track, shake the track, drag a mushroom onto the lava bubble, hit undo twice. Now we will drag a chain chomp from our pipe, a copy of it onto the lava bubble, hit play, then hit edit. Now we'll drag the track over. We'll use L to highlight where the chain chomp was, he reappears. Now we'll make a copy of the lava bubble with the track, now we'll shake this track, place a mushroom on it once again, hit undo twice. Now we'll drag a copy of the chain chop onto this lava bubble, and then we'll drag the track over. Now we need to erase the track with the lava bubble by tapping the square with the erase button, and it'll erase both at once. 
make a copy of the pipe with the chain chomp, extend it, undo, move the pipe, and now we have our chain chomps that will spawn out of midair. Now I'll erase everything, except for our big chain chomp and our little spawning chain chomp, and we'll make stacks of these above his head. Quick note is you can hold ZL and drag copies, but for whatever reason with this glitch, I found out later after making the video, you can literally hold ZL and just tap one of the chain chomps and it'll keep making copies. So it's even quicker than the method I'm using right here. Once you make tons and tons and tons and tons of copies of the chain chomp, we'll hit play. And we now have a chain chomp fountain. That just looks so cool. Definitely one of my favorite glitches so far ever. Just look at all those chain chomps raining down. It just looks really cool, especially falling into the lava. For an added effect, you can add wings to the chain chomp. It looks really cool as well. Just one of the many ideas you can do using this glitch. All right, guys, I hope you have a lot of fun with this. I've been having a blast. It seems to be an endless amount of things you can do with this. Hopefully Nintendo doesn't patch this one out. Let me know what you think in the comments below or if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around. <laughs>